Assalamualaikum alaikum and hi everyone So for this video we are going to learn probability lecture 2 of 3 part 2 Okay we are going to find the probability of an event So example 1 Given A and B are two events Where P A equal to 1 over 3 And P B is 3 over 5 Okay calculate P A union B If A and B are mutually exclusive events Oh, so it is given here A and B are mutually exclusive events So the formula for mutually exclusive event is PA union B is equal to PA plus PB So we already have PA and PB in the question So you just sub into the formula So 1 over 3 plus 3 over 5 And then we can get 14 over 15 as our answer Example 2 Given that probability of A and B are such that B A equal to 3 over 8 B B is equal to 1 over 4 And P A intercept B is equal to 8, 1 over 8 Okay, find the probability of A union B So for this question, it doesn't mention it is uh, mutually exclusive or not So we will use additional probability rule PA union B equal to PA Plus PB And then minus PA intercept B So we substitute the probability that given in the question 3 over 8 plus 1 over 4 And then minus 1 over 8 so just press your calculator and you can get the answer is 1 over 2 Next example So C and D are two events where PC is 0 0.1 And probability of D is 0 0.2 Probability of C union D is equal to 0 0.3 Okay, determine whether C and D are two mutually exclusive events so, the minta kita identify adakah C and D are two mutually exclusive events. So, we will use the additional probability rule. So, PC union D equal to PC plus PD minus PC intercept D. Okay, so here we have 0 0.3 equal to 0 0.1. Plus 0 0.2 minus P C intercept D So We can get here the probability of C intercept D is equal to 0 So this statement show that A, uh, C and D are two mutually exclusive event Because the probability of intersection is 0 Maksudnya dia tak ada intersection lah So therefore C and D are mutually exclusive events so this is for question A and question B asks for the probability of C bar so this is the complement event so to get the answer we will take 1 minus probability of C so 1 minus 0 0.1 and then you can get 0.9 and question C the probability of C bar intercept D bar ok probability selain daripada C dan juga selain daripada D jadi kita akan ambil probability uh, total probability which is 1 minus probability of C union D ok so 1 minus 0.3 so you can get 0.7 Okay, example 4 A survey is conducted on a group of workers Comprising production operators Administrative officer And security guards So the survey is to determine the total working hours in a week So it, uh, uh, it's already given the event here So A is for production operator B is for this one Administrative officer and so on Okay, so this table 
is not complete so how to complete it so for first row so we just add up the total so 63 plus 21 plus 4 and then you can get 88 so 46 plus 14 plus 10 you can get 70 87 plus 8 plus 17 112 and continue to complete the table so this is our total of sample space lah. so the total worker is 270 ok next ok one of the workers in the survey is randomly selected ok so based on the information provided so dekat kanan ni ada table yang kita dah lengkapkan so find the probability that the worker is a production operator so production operator ada dekat sini so kita nak cari probability of A so probability of A is the number of A divided by the number of total sample space so the number of production operator is 196 here so 196 over the total uh, workers which is this one NS this one adalah NA so the total of workers is 270 and then check your calculator whether it can be simplified so you can get 98 over 135 so this is your answer the probability of the worker is a production operator ok next uh, calculate the probability that the worker is a production operator or security guard so kita nak the probability of A union C so kita akan ambil uh, the probability of A plus the probability of C so 196 over 270 plus 31 over 70 and then you add up you can get 227 over 270 then D tak boleh disimplify ok uh, denote here take note sikit awak tak boleh tulis uh, dia punya apa jawapan sebagai 196 tambah 31 saja contoh kalau awak buat PA union C and then you write it as 196 plus 31 and then tiba-tiba dapat 227 over 270 so apa maksud dia ni so atas ni bukan probability this is not probability ok so the probability mesti divided by total uh, of sample space ok so cannot write like this so mesti full macam ni ok next ok calculate the probability that the workers works between 50 to 70 so kalau kita tengok dalam, dalam this table 50 to 70 berada dekat sini so the probability of E is equal to so tengok hujung sekali dia adalah 70 so 70 over 270 so simplify you akan dapat 7 over 27 ok next calculate the probability that the worker is an administrative officer and working greater than 70 hour so the not probability of administrative officer which is B so intercept with F so here kita tengok dekat B administrative officer so yang mana yang intercept dengan F so this one dan juga F so sini adalah dia punya intercept jadi awak akan dapat 8 per dengan 270 so simplify awak akan dapat 4 per 135 ok so yang dekat tengah ni semua intersection ok next 
Calculate the probability the worker is a security guard working less than 40 hours. So yang ni memang dia tak cakap N tapi based on the uh, the words ataupun the sentence we can say that it is it asks us to find the probability of C which is security guard which is working less than 40 hours intercept dengan D because it happens at the same time lah C intercept D ok so kita tengok daripada kita punya table C dan juga D ok yang intercept adalah bahagian sini so kita akan dapat 4 per 2 7 kosong so simplify we akan dapat 2 per 1 3 5 so this is the probability Okay, we proceed to example 5. So, a class have 50 students, 30 are male and 28 wear spectacles. Of the 30 males, 19 wear spectacles. <coughs> okay. So, untuk memudahkan kita menjawab soalan ni, kita akan buat dalam bentuk tables. So, we put here male as M, event M. So, female as F. Uh, this one is wear spectacle S S even S and not wear spectacles as even S prime or S bar. So hujung ni adalah total. So we complete the table. So, a class have 50 students. So, 50 here. The total. And 30 are males. So, the total of male is 30. So, we can get the total of female 20 by subtracting lah. Okay, of the 30 males. So, daripada 30 orang lelaki ni, 19 wear spectacles. So, kita tolak untuk dapatkan not wearing. Which is 11. And then another another information is 28 wear spectacle. So dekat bahagian wear spectacle ni adalah 28 dia punya total. So kita tolak untuk dapatkan female yang wear spectacle which is 9. And lainnya awak lengkapkanlah guna subtraction. Okay bila dah complete baru kita jawab soalan. So the first question is uh, if a student of this class is selected at random find the probability that this student is a female so A1 find the probability student is female so from this table we can see that female is 20 so the probability is 20 over 50 which is simplified into 2.2 over 5 ok yang kedua the probability of male or wear spectacles. So, probability of M or is union as is spectacles. So, we use the additional probability rule. So, PM plus PS minus PM intercept S. So, PM is probability of M is 30 over 50. Okay, plus spectacle is 28 over 50 and then minus ok probability of M intercept S so M dan S adalah bahagian sini so 19 over 50 then you calculate guna calculator you akan dapat 39 over 50 ok and then soalan yang ketiga Probability of a female who do not wear spectacle. So, PF who do not wear. Maksudnya, at the same time lah, dia intersect with the wearing spectacle. So, F intersect S bar. Not wear, not wearing. Okay. So, kita tengok daripada kita punya table. Female. Dan juga not wearing. So, bahagian sini kita akan dapat terus. 11 per 50. Okay, so soalan B Okay, are the events male and wear spectacle mutually exclusive? So, nak show dia kita mesti dapatkan dia punya intersection So, male intersect wear spectacle So, kalau dia punya probability equal to zero Maksudnya dia adalah mutually exclusive But now, when we look at the table 
So kita ada probability of M dan juga S Which is 19 Over 50 Not equal to 0 So we can say that uh, Event Mill N Where spectacle Are not Mutually exclusive Ok So next Bila dia bukan mutually exclusive Dia tanya pula which events are mutually exclusive So uh, Event yang mana yang Cannot happen at the same time So daripada table ni We can see that male dan juga Event female cannot happen At the same time So event Male and female are mutually exclusive because it cannot occur at the same time. Okay. So that's all for lecture 2 of 3. So we will continue for the lecture 3 of 3 in the next video. Okay, thank you for listening.